Hello, hi, welcome, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It is April Fool's time, and that means a Super Adventure Festival in Guild Wars 2, a game I've played uh, uh, since launch. I've played Guild Wars 1 since launch, um, and every, uh, for a while now, it wasn't originally a uh, annual event festival, but uh, it was like a one-off thing, and then there was a little update to it, uh, either like later in the year, I think it was like a back-to-school themed um, update that added some more stuff and brought it back for a little bit, and then it eventually became a uh, April um, April holiday festival thing. What is Super Adventure Festival? Uh, what What's Guild Wars 2? It's a, an online MMO RPG. It's uh, free to play with um, microtransactions that are mostly pretty reasonable. Um, all cosmetic and convenience stuff. And then they've got expansions and they've got um, um, basically free um, like little uh, things in between the expansions that come out. Uh, you used to have to log in to get the, the side stuff and if you just logged in during its release window and that's it, it was like unlocked for your account. Um, now it's if you buy the newest expansion, you'll get all the content, uh, all, all the like see, you know, like seasonal monthly updates until the next expansion. Um, and uh, Super Adventure Box is a another game inside of Guild Wars Two. It's just like here's a brand new game. It's still a third person. Um, you know, uh, real time, uh, uh, slash him, kill him up, shoot him up game. Um, but, uh, the adventure box is, uh, themed like a, uh, retro style video game. It's got, um, a lot of jumping puzzles. It's got a lot of, like, throwback references to old video games and a lot of sort of design, um, stuff taken from those games. So... Uh, we had two, we had two worlds in there, um, for the longest time. Now, um, this one has, uh, we've got a new one in there. We got, uh, part of a world three. I think it's one level. I kind of toyed around with it. Um, so go to guildwars2.com or go to Steam and look for Guild Wars. And I want you to uh, make a free account if you have not. Make an Asura. So when you make a, your first character, you can make two little gobliny, gremliny type guys that uh, look like this. This is a uh, this is here's the inside of her face. You can see her eyeballs quite uh, quite lovely here. Um, I am uh, I'm stuck down here. Let me just jump off this. Go to GuildWars2.com. Go to Steam, search for Guild Wars 2, whatever you want to do. Make a free account if you don't have one. If you have played Guild Wars 2 in the past, fire up that old account, hop in. Um, either make a new character if you don't have uh, one in this area. Uh, or if you don't have a character at all, make a new one. You're going to make an Asura. They're like little goblin-y guys. Little tiny. And then you'll do the like first opening mission, which is like five minutes. It's super simple, small introduction. And that will leave you right around here. And you are going to do a 180. And there's going to be a portal right here. And that portal will take you to the um, Asura uh, hometown. You're going to run all the way up to the corner. Right up here. There will be a little icon, a little super adventure icon right there. And there will no doubt be 10,000 glowy adventurers right around here um, those balloons um, it's quite a festive scene you can't really miss it um, uh, you especially can't miss it because all the friggin flashiness is going to destroy your frame rate let's get out of here and you're going to travel through the box you might have to talk to uh, Moto over there on the left with the little sword and shield icon above him if you haven't done it before, I'm not sure. 
Then it's going to load you into the Super Adventure Box Hub World. So we had two worlds, I said, right? We had World 1, then e later on we got World 2. And that was probably like five or six years ago, maybe? Something like that. Um, and in this update, which came out today, the 28th of March, we have uh, the first level of World 3, or at least the first... I think it's the entire first level. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to run through quickly the first uh, level of the first world. Kind of explain a little bit about how it works. And I'm doing this on a character that I think has, some, has all of the upgrades already. So I'll have some stuff that won't be available to you. Um, I'll just kind of go through and give you a general feel for um, how how the mode works. All right, so you load in and you're on a little cloud. There's gonna be a portal behind you that will take you back to the city. And uh, if you just take a quick look around, let's get out of this guy's body here. Uh, huh. You will see uh, we got some Tetris pieces floating around. We got clouds that look solid and definitely are. And, uh, and that's not sarcastic. You can jump all over the place. You can jump on the clouds. Um, we've got some helicopter upgrades. We've got, uh, we've got a land shark, sand shark there. We've got uh, a very adorable little kitten cat. Um, let's jump over here. And then, um, so my, uh, my Asura character this is her. She's a little cutie. You can tell she's got um, some really adorable uh, ribbons in her hair. And then she is wielding uh, the Super Adventure backpack, uh, shield backpack, and she's got a Super Adventure sword there. Um, if I go through to my achievements and I go to the festivals, um, so. Uh, these are all ones that have been done in previous ones, and I haven't played Super Adventure Box in a couple years. Honestly, if they hadn't have added a new level, I probably wouldn't have done it this year too, just because I played the first one so much, right? Um, so I'm missing one. So gold award in each time challenge, yeah. Time challenges, and then uh, missing one secret furniture shop. A um, couple different things here for the Super Adventure Box World 2. Uh, quality testing is the achievements for this test zone for World 3. Uh, complete the World 3 test zone. Find all the red baubles hidden in there. Uh, find all the green baubles, which are not hidden, but they're just kind of in a difficult to get to spots. So as you can see, super nice, um, you know, retro kind of style, um, appearance here um, you can we've got a uh, fireworks going off in the fountain we got a little uh, we got oh what is that is that someone's is that her mini pet oh my god I've not seen this and it's like super fat and adorable are you a mini pet or are you like your own thing Oh, I like that. Oh, we got a little conga line going. We got a monkey with a balloon on it. We got a uh, crazy frogs, turtles with a postcard snap to it, rabbits, raccoons, farmers, samurai, ninja guys, yetis. We got everything here, right? Four houses. World one. World two. There's also a race that you can do in here. Uh, world 3 and World 4. So World 4, you can't go in here. Do, 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 nothing. Um, if you go to World 3, um, it, it won't pop up with this uh, initially. It'll have a note tell you, telling you to go to Moto. Then you talk to Moto. Then you walk back here to do World 3. They can't just let you go in there. You have to walk all the way around, loading in all these places. It's a mess. World 2... World 1. So let's go through World 1. I'm going to play through the first level super quickly um, just uh, to give you kind of an idea on it. So enter story mode. It'll take you inside the house first. 
and you'll have three options for difficulty. On the right, the uh, angry cloud that is uh, dripping. Uh, that is tribulation mode. Don't do it. You're not there yet. You gotta. You can't start there. Just don't. It will make you cry. Uh, this is easy mode. I think it might be called baby mode, baby adventurer mode, or something. But um, this one makes things a. Uh, do you know, play Super Punch Box exploration mode? Okay. Um, lowered danger, and these little clouds will pop up. Uh, periodically to give you like shortcuts. They will um, shoot a rainbow out of their backside and you can uh, walk across the rainbow to skip certain parts. Um, when I first played this many many years ago I thought that was it but if you talk to this dude you can play the like regular one and it'll let you pop around to whichever one you want uh, as long as you've beaten it before. So let's do uh, zone one do I get the cutscene? Or do I not get the cutscene? I've done it a lot, so maybe I don't get. We start our journey in Sunny Glade, confident that we will find her. We're looking for Princess Maya. Um, you can find her wig and her dress and stuff as you play through. Uh, no cutscene. I'm not sure how to make that play again, but uh, there's a cool cutscene where I think we see her get captured. Um, we were supposed to have a picnic, but you know how princesses are, they're always getting captured. Um, we got a little chest over here with a key. So, as you can see, it's kind of got, um, its own, can I, oh, I have to attack it, right? There you go. So, the interface um, is like basically the same, but it's presented differently. So uh, we don't have like the normal health bars. We've got the health uh, hearts with some that are locked. Okay, so I guess, I don't know if maybe if they reset the upgrades or if it was a different character that I had um, them on. Because they've got two Asura, and I know it was both Asura that I was really playing them on. Just because I feel like they're present, like the the smallness like fits in here and it looks really nice. So you've got lives here. Uh, normally your lives won't be this high, but I've got um, the infinite continue coin, so I think that gives you a lot. Then we've got a currency here called baubles um, that you can use to buy things in shops and uh, unlock upgrades that you'll get. So we got some bunnies. Uh, the bunnies won't hurt you by default you can go up to them but um, if you hit them and you make them mad they will retaliate um, so just keep that in mind feel free to do it feel free to whack the heck out of these bunnies um, just like they kind of uh, they won't forget it we got a uh, we got a cute ass little sun up there and we got a uh, got a little snakey giving us a bobble giving us a bobble so like fundamentally it pretty much plays the same but it does like it's still fundamentally different right because when you're playing through the regular game you've got all these traits and skills and stuff and this is um, really like a traditional sort of you know old school uh, platformer and it's really pretty nice I think Guild Wars 2 has a lot of attention to detail in a lot of places but it's really really evident in the adventure box um, and of course you know you can go down there you don't have to jump through the trees you can um, kind of go through however you want even some of the levels are pretty open ended as far as the path you can take okay these monkeys are gonna kill me whack whack Ooh, I got some food got some cheese oh and there's a lot of secrets too um, one of the things you can get in the first shops is um, a shovel which you can dig anywhere and you have a slight chance to get um, something and then of course there are specific spots that you can dig in to um, get secret stuff and then there are power-ups that you can get here we go we got a sun 
which as you see I could I should have been a uh, hit there but I was not hit I just walked right through it let's go to uh, the shop do, 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 do. so we got the shop here we got the shopkeeper who has a uh, literal text box floating above him we got uh, health uh, the upgrade we can buy we got a key we can buy we got the digger um, I do not need an extra life. We got, how can I get this guy? Boop, boop, boop. Digger, uh, 100 baubles. I got plenty. Let's do it. Um, mm -hmm. all right. So as you can see down here, now I have the digger right here. Um, and, uh, okay. I can't thwack him, but this is a shop in a video game. So I can obviously uh, just completely demolish it, destroy his inventory, um, you know, make him have to order new fixtures for his uh, supply here. Uh, I'm just gonna completely destroy this guy. I do not like mom and pop shops. I will never, never shop here, aside from uh, the shovel. I only shop at uh, major super adventure corporations. Oh, we've got a key. So, and the keys and stuff, um, they're set. Um, if you get a key, there's a good chance that there's just gonna be a chest nearby. Quack, quack, quack. Um, let's get some baubles. Ooh, bobble, bobble, bobble. Can I not pick this up? All right. Um, do, do, nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Where am I going now? Do, 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 do. I love this music too. Um, I think I think Guild Wars 2 is just like art direction wise almost unmatched. Um, um, oh, okay. There are certainly some areas where they skip by. Uh, some of the like loading screens for zones are just disgustingly ugly. Like the um, the newest uh, loading screen uh, loading artwork for uh, the like main city, the Lion's Arch city, is just like it's uh, it's a complete joke. It's so bad, um, and that's not just my opinion. That seems to be the consensus. Um, so you can see here we got some uh, rubble um, you know very obvious if you have bombs you can blow that up um, and there's actually I believe uh, the waterfall by the chest in the very very be beginning uh, there is um, a wall behind there that you can blow up so there's a lot of secrets do do Am I out of your range? Okay. Um, where uh, was my dude? Where am I going? Where am I going? Um, so she's already decked out with uh, some super adventure stuff. Um, miniatures are little like little pet guys that follow you around. Nothing but cosmetic. Um, this was a uh, kind of a late addition to the game. Much appreciated. Um, Let's uh, switch to another one. So I got, we got the mini super banana. We got the super raccoon. Who, uh, raccoons are just great. In general, video games, real life, raccoons are badass. We got the spider with the glasses. We got the monkey. Wait, oh man. That tail animation, I'm digging it. I forgot how great that is. We got the yeti. Is that like a leather, like studded jacket? Is that what he's got on? Is he have like uh, spike collars on his uh, ears there? And um, we got the bee dog. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the bee dogs in a minute. I'm gonna show you something about the bee dogs. The bee dogs are in not every level. I think it alternates because sometimes it's. What's the other one? Is it a big raccoon? But um. 
we're gonna see some bee dogs in a second and then there's some minis that I don't have so there's also a super piranha uh, a super frog who looks quite dapper uh, and of course a goat who has a whip <clears throat> and a super bunny um, uh, again that tail animation fantastic uh, and so these ones are all gem store items which means you have to buy them with uh, cash or um, you can convert in-game gold you get to gems um, we got the snake um, who of course um, is also the captain of a cruise ship on his uh, on the super adventure off season and the turtle with the hat and the postcards or, or whatever they are um, are they stamps they're supposed to be like stamps or like passport stickers or something he gets around and then the mini super ooze which is a uh, one of the new guys in the new level. Um, oh, he get me in the air. <gasps> Classic Cameron, jumping off cliffs. Uh, did I change? What did I change? Uh, I got the B. All right, let's let's stay with the B dog. Uh, it, it'll be thematic. Flack, flack, whoa, bouncy, bouncy. And these are like checkpoints. So when you pass through one of them, if you die, you'll come back here. Um, oh, look at, look at, look at, we got, see? Just like the bun buns, they are uh, friendly to us. Little bee dogs. So when you find the bee dogs, you can kind of watch them and they will go to uh, a little like, hidden spot so this clearly is where we're supposed to go we even got like a hand pointing us over there we see another checkpoint but if we follow the bee dogs what's going on with them mm -hmm. oh it's like a little maze thing well let's go through the maze a little let's see what's up bobble bobble Bobble, bobble, bobble. So you can hop back over here if you want and you can actually walk on top of the maze. Um, I think there's a spot or two where um, you can maybe drop down that you can't normally see but at the at the very least you can go through and you can very easily see if you missed any bottles and stuff and I think um, there's even like a dig spot around here that gives you a secret or whatever an achievement um, oh I don't want to spoil it did you see her did you see her the, our lovely uh, mistress of the bees are those oozes are those new? Were these things always here or were they added because of the enemy? What are they? I don't, I feel like these weren't here before. But they're not like enemies or anything. Is there a new upgrade? What's going on? Or maybe, maybe they are not new at all. Who knows with me, am I right? Oh, there she is in all of her glory. Who? Who's that, you ask? Why, that is the queen bee dog. Let's dig. Why are you not doing anything? Oh, and she fires small bee dogs. Okay, my power-up's gonna run out. So, let's go grab that. Was that cheese? What was that? There was food over here, right? Dun, 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 dun. Uh, maybe there wasn't. Maybe I'm losing my friggin' mind. I thought there was uh, food. 
Oh, what are you gonna do? Uh, she might kill me then. We'll see. So like one of the upgrades you can get is like a slingshot. What else was there? It's been so long. The the bombs that you can throw. She's just like not doing anything. Oh, uh, uh. why wasn't she following me? I think she was more active generally. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm just gonna run real quick and do the final boss for this. Um, it's super easy. Like even on like the regular difficulty, it's not hard, you know. Um, well, I would say um, it. Jesus Christ, you freaking snake! Leave me alone. Um, I think it does get kind of difficult, um, and part of that is because the second world have um, the Jesus Christ. Um, the, 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 it gets kind of lengthy some of the levels, you know. Oh, I hate monkeys. Um, because they get kind of lengthy, and there are points where there's, like, some puzzles that might take you a little bit to kind of figure out the mechanics of how they function. Um, but super fun, and if you're not a complete completionist, you know, you can, um, there's, like, shortcuts you can find that are hidden that you can get, and then, of course, you can do the exploration mode. But, uh, yeah, Guild Wars 1, me and some friends were following its, like, early development before it released. And then when it came out, we uh, trekked down to Best Buy. We all picked it up. There's our, there's our um, enemy, giant helmet guy there. There's the farmer we got to save. Um, and, like, we had a blast, right? And then when Factions came out a year later, um, that was, like... Prime, let's pack up our giant CRT monitors and uh, um, load up our desktops in our buddy's car and go to his place where he's got like a little basement room and just just do alliance battles all night. Alliance battles and uh, guild hall guild battles all night. Or like uh, here's a scent. Um, loved it, right? And, some of my best uh, gaming memories, aside from like, because I don't play with friends too much. It was mostly me and my brothers, um, and then I'd play like online with some friends. But like the in-person friend experience was always um, was really Guild Wars one initially for me. Um, there we go. He is losing his mind with happiness. I'm not gonna let you die, little buddy. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh, he's a shopkeeper. He looks like a farmer. Although, I guess his mustache is like a shopkeeper mustache, right? Farmers don't really have mustaches like that. So, that's the first level. Super easy. Uh, there's a few more levels in this world. Um, and then, uh, world two is um, very fun. A little bit more difficult. Uh, oh, see, look. Oh, that's right. We got a whip. That was one of them. 150. I don't have enough right now. Um, the whip. That's right. I remember now. Um, and this one, this is one of the ones where you kind of have, um, it's a little bit more open-ended. You're jumping all around these trees and there's different paths. You can go a lot of secrets to find. It's really great. Guild Wars 2 is free to play. Um, and the free to play you get to play this while it's here, which is going to be at least two weeks. Um, I think it's probably going to be a month, though. Um, uh, uh, available until April 18th. So, got a few weeks. Um, make a new account, jump in there, play it. If, uh, 
You know, you, you make an Asura character, little goblin guys, you'll start right there. You do like the quick five minute little intro quest. Zoop around, go through the portal into the town, find Moto and all the glowing holographic uh, characters and players there. Um, play around with it. Play the regular game too. It's, um, you know, the free to play stuff. You get like the whole uh, personal story and then the um, first like live season they did for free. And the personal story has branching paths and stuff. There's, you know, there's a lot there. It's very fun. Um, you know, waste a little bit of time playing it and then, um, uh, you know, dip in and out as you feel you want to or leave it completely. Either way, uh, Either way, you're doing good. It's fine either way. Um, yeah, give it a shot. And uh, bye, 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 bye. Wave, wave, wave. Bye, 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 bye.